This is the cat Barlanger, one of the most critically endangered primates in the world, found only on the island of Cat Bar in Vietnam. Over the last 40 years, thousands of these monkeys have been hunted, caught to be kept as pets, or poached to be used in medicinal teas. Their forests have been logged, demolished for farms, cleared for development, and continuously encroached upon until their habitat, once covering over 280 square kilometers, now covers a few fragments, totaling the size of Lake Belly Griffin. The cat by Langer is on the brink of extinction, with only 60 left in the world. And to add to their problems, this tiny population is split into two main groups, which are reproductively isolated from one another and facing serious genetic problems as a result. As a biological anthropologist, I study human and primate evolution and behavior, specifically focusing on the conservation of critically endangered species like this one. Right now, we know very little about the habitat of Vietnam's primates, but we do know that if species like this disappear, their entire ecosystems could collapse. So my project is the first ever study of the Cat Barlanger's ecology. It is important to know, though, that there are no simple solutions to saving these monkeys or their habitats. So our team is out there collecting as much information as we can to try to solve this complex problem. And to discover more, I went out into their habitat in Vietnam. I climbed limestone mountains, clung to cliff faces, and got caught in rock slides on summits, all the while counting thousands of plants, measuring their vegetation, and modeling their distribution. And it was worth it, because now I have the first ever ecological profile of the cat bar Langer, helping us to understand their habitat needs. Now, we might never fully understand why these monkeys sleep on cliff ledges over the ocean, why their babies are bright orange, or why they drink seawater using their tails. But I have discovered that they can adapt to less than pristine forests. And I've confirmed there is a viable vegetation corridor that could be used to unite the two groups. This would dramatically improve our ability to plan for their ongoing conservation and reduce their genetic problems, which is good news for all of us. Because by preserving species like this, we're safeguarding the world's biodiversity for future generations. So, while the plight of this monkey might seem dark at first glance, bit by bit, tree by tree, I'm working to bring the Cat Bar Langer and its forests back from the brink. Thank you.